Hello everyone, Marshall here. Today we'll see how to use Firebase real-time database within a Xamarin Forms application. This is a little demo on how the system should work. So I have a form to add a student to the real-time database. So it takes first name, last name, and age of the student. And we should be able to see the student has been added to the real-time database in real time. So if I click add student and it adds the data of the student in our real-time database if I try to do the same thing from our iOS app that should do the same also if I do any update from the console that should be able to change the data real-time too so if I put just a mesh and that should be able to change the second name to Nash. So as you could see, the data has been updated in real time. So on part one, we'll see how to implement add data to the real time database and display it on the list view. And on part two, we'll see how to update and delete a student data. The first thing we need to do click on the project select real-time database and create a database I've already created one and then on the rules make sure you change the rules for read and write to auth equal to none and so you don't need any authentication for making any changes to this database uh, this is only for educational purpose if it's a production level app make sure you definitely authenticate your calls to this database so once that done Make sure you copy this URL. We need that to talk to this database later on. And inside the code behind, you need to add two NuGet packages, which are Firebase database dot net four dot o dot four and also refactor dot mvmium helpers. So inside this Firebase project, I've got four folders, models, services, view models, and views. Inside these models, I have a class called student.cs, which is a first name, last name, and age. So inside this student's page.xaml, I have a grid with two rows. Inside the first row, I have a stack layout, which has got the entry and the button. So the first entry for the first name is bound to this first name last name age and i have a button which has a command of add student comment and to display the student's data back to the user i have a list view which is bound to this student list and in the view cell i'm displaying back the student's first name last name and age make sure in the students page.xaml.cs class you bind this to the students view model so let's look into this students view model.cs file this view model derives from the base view model where we define the first name last name age also the db firebase class services we'll have a look into this in a moment i uh, will also define the command for adding student add student command I have the list of students with the backing field students as observable collection. So every time we make any changes to this list, that calls this on property change event handler. And inside this constructor, students view model, we initialize this services new Firebase class, and also we get this students from using these services services dot get students and to add student command we use a new command which is a type of async and we use this method edge student async passing the first name last name and age which is defined up here and let's look 
in the code for adding student. So this is a public async task add student async which takes three parameters first name last name and age and we simply could add student to the real-time database calling this services dot add student passing these three parameters so now let's look at the file db firebase uh, we define this firebase client inside the constructor we initialize the firebase client passing this url which we copied from our project for your project make sure you pass your url and i have two methods one for adding student to the database and one for retrieving all the students from the database so let's look at the add student method which is a public async task method so we first initialize the student as a continuous student passing this variable and we simply call await client dot child which is student again we are targeting this student's node and we say dot post async passing this student data and for retrieving the data from the database we have this get student method which is an observable collection of type student who simply returns the student data calling this client dot child again we are targeting this student node dot as observable of type student and dot as observable collection and we simply return this student data so from the view model when we define these students we simply call services which we define services equals to new firebase dot get student and also for adding student we simply call services dot add student passing this variable so let's run the code and see if it works so the application is running and if I give John Doe age 13 and click add and the data has been added to this database also if we try to change any data say for example I change this to hello and that updates it in real time so that was it for part one on part two we'll see how to edit and delete a student data from this real-time database and if you do like these tutorials make sure you like share and subscribe and i should see you on my next video thank you